Hey. Um, we, had, we had a discussion. Somebody requested what is a podcast, and how do you get them, and whatever else. And I said, well, you could ask me. I created one in 2005. Um, so just to tell you what it, what it is, um, back in, in 2004, um, a, a fellow named Dave Weiner uh, created a system called RSS, uh, really simple syndication for blogs and things. Uh, it was a way for, for you to, to subscribe or to request um, information as to what are going to be new episodes. So there's a timestamp on an entry in an XML file. You don't need to know the XML file. But anyway, in the file is the information saying that I put up this content on this date with this stamp on it. And that means that your computer can look at it and say, oh, he posted something new. Let me look at it. Let me download it. Let's see this. So on a blog, uh, if somebody updates their blog every day, they can put on there, here's today, here's the, the content for Tuesday. And your browser would say, Dave's got new content for Tuesday. Here it is. Along the way, Dave Weiner expanded RSS so that you could put a line in the, in the XML file saying that there is media. Here's how to find a video or an audio file. And uh, Adam Curry, who was a VJ on MTV, uh, was early on, saw this and said, hey, that sounds a lot like radio because you can, I can send you an audio file. So he whipped together uh, a program real fast uh, to read an RSS feed, to look for the new audio files, and to copy them. So you could listen to them, um, download them as you choose or whatever as you choose. So you go to, like Adam Curry set up the first site, uh, daily, the daily uh, source code, what he called the source code because it's computer talk. And he started recording every day a new episode of him talking and creating some radio content. And you could point at Adam Curry's RSS feed and get today's show. So consider it just like on a DVR. If you say, I want to subscribe to Game of Thrones, every week there's a new episode of Game of Thrones, and your DVR has it there to show it to you when it came in. It was just broadcast, and you can watch it when I feel like it. I can watch it live. I can copy it. Now, you can't copy the stuff from Game of Thrones, but you can copy it. You can do what you want with it. So those two things go together, and I can take an audio file that I made and make it available and see you want, when you want a new audio file, you go to mycasepodcast.com. Uh, you'll see an icon in the corner of the website, which shows a little RSS icon. It's a little orange thing with them, which shows sort of headphones and some bars saying that it's sort of broadcast. You can click on that, and then what happens is you go have a program some form of podcaster, a pod catcher, which will read that file, and you can say, I want to subscribe to this cast, and it will check that RSS feed periodically to see if there's something new for you to have. So just like in your DVR, you can go in and you can say, um, oh, there's Tuesday's episode, let's listen to it. So you can listen to it in your car, you can listen to it in your phone, you can listen to it in your television, you can tell Amazon to get it for you, because there's all these places where you can enjoy your media. So. Podcast from 2005. What did it sound like? Just to prove that I'm not lying. Hi. 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 It's not working. Hi, this is Pilot Dan. Welcome to Pilot Cast 38. On this week's show, I'll walk up and down the flight lane of the Barnes Air National Guard Base Air Show. Held on June 24th and 5th, 2000. The podcast number 65, Saturday, July 26th, 2008, cleared for takeoff. The pilot cast number 65. Uh, oh, look at this. You can see the actual source code. Uh, I click on it, right? That's the show notes. But anyway, uh, we, we went and um, one of the things that happened was my partner, Dan, um, worked for the uh, Hartford Current. And one of the reporters for the Hartford Current uh, was an old college roommate of the boss of the Blue Angels. 
So he wrote an article about the, 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 uh, the Hartford Current and went on one of the Blue Angels demo rides. So we made a video. His video, this is... Breeze nose low. It's slowly rolling out of this angle of bank. And adjusting our goal so that we arrive back at 2,000 feet and the goal being 300 knots when we get there. So we put a video in the feed. Um, and there we are back 2,000 feet. No. What's that? We need some clock hat. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. <laughs> and here he is passing out. Oh. All right, welcome back, buddy. You're okay? Oh, yeah, I just had a little dream or something. Yep, a little cat nap. <laughs> so uh, that is, uh, by the way, uh, the pilot is Kojak, who is um, the pilot who was killed when the demo fl the flight crashed in uh, Tennessee. So uh, we had an episode about that, too. But in any case, uh, we did a video. We put it up on our feed, and I haven't done... I sort of, because it's a lot of work, <laughs> sort of faded away. But anyway, uh, that is what an episode looks like. Uh, and that's not necessarily showing how it, how it can get to you. So the way you do it, how many of you have iPhones? Apple, Mac, Macintoshes, okay, good, not too many of you. <laughs> uh, so uh, early on, remember I was there in the early days, um, uh, before, Apple even had podcasts, and then it was okay. Good news, Apple's going to start making podcasts, and then oh gee, how do we get to be, get into Apple's good graces and then really put it up there? And they did, at which point, sort of like how Bill Gates invented the internet, it became Apple invented podcasts. Not exactly. So um, they just made it so that iTunes could could read podcasts, um, read, read your feed. So uh, co the common way to do it, I mean, you'll see when people mention it on television or whatever wherever you get your podcast and get it in iTunes. And um, if you go to, well, like now, <clears throat> um, there is uh, on, on, on iOS, on your, on your iPhone, there's a, there's, a, there's a program called Apple Podcasts, right? And so they, they broke it out from iTunes. But nonetheless, um, you have uh, the shows that you want to listen to. You can subscribe to them. You can see that... Um, um, one of the ones here is Car Talk, the Daily Show podcast. And by the way, when I did this, we were the first aviation podcast. There probably were <clears throat> a few hundred podcasters. Now there are sorry, several hundred thousand. So um, uh, there's, it's a <clears throat> big, big, big area to figure out what you want. So I could just ask you, you know, like, what are you interested in, or who do you like? and uh, you'll find that they're doing a podcast. Uh, they may be video, they may be audio, uh, they uh, can be, you know, people talking, can be music, can be uh, contact, like in this case, the Daily Show podcast, I think it, it's actually audio of, watch, well, you can't see the screen, it's audio of uh, behind the scenes of a show and that kind of thing. Uh, I'll show you, you know, for sure, the, the popular podcast. So if you go to, um, like, apple.com, com, uh, iTunes, uh, if you're in the Apple world, uh, they have a sort of a tutorial of that, uh, of the kind of things that, you know, you listen to your favorite podcast, subscribe to it, and whatever. Now, how do you do this? Podcaster. iTunes is a podcaster. So is your browser. Uh, so is Google. Uh, my favorite ones are, uh, for, for sure, the one that I like uh, the best is which is free. This is um, on Android. Um, but you can see um, all the uh, podcasts here. This, um, uh, you, you create an account, it knows what your favorites are, it knows where you were in the favorites. The nice thing about this is that also it's multi-platform. So I can be in the car listening on, on my, my phone and, you know, stop a uh, one hour show at a 30 minute mark and then go over to the bathroom and uh, have the, the, the tablet in the bathroom and pick up from where I was. I can watch it from home. Uh, you can, I'll show you all the ways you can send the content around, but whatever. So what kind of things are out there? Well, look at this. Uh, There's everything. Uh, uh, name your favorite thing. I mean, the most popular ones are like, uh, 
Oprah. Oprah has a couple of them. You know, you have all of Oprah's wonderful feel your spirit stuff here. Okay, so if if I pick on Oprah's super soul conversations, right? See the button in the corner that says subscribe. So that means remember this RSS feed and remember where I was. And from this point forward, when new content comes up, you'll get it. But look, we can go down through all of her previous shows. Okay? So, there's all the content that she had. I think there's one here that has guests and things like that. But in any case, there's a couple, I don't know, a couple hundred and something shows here. Okay, going back to uh, 2018, it keeps on going. What's the first ones that she had? An introduction. It started in 2017. You're a youngster, Oprah. Yeah. Um, so the uh, there's another Oprah co podcast called the Oprah Mastercast. This is where she has guests. So Diane Sawyer, Maya Angelou, uh, and so on. So now. Let's say we want to listen to Smokey Robinson. All I got to do is go over here to the play button, and it'll download it and play it for me in real time. His voice ah uh, just transports us. His touch something deep inside, and his melodies get us moving. There is a reason why Smokey Robinson is known as the king of Motown. During his 50 years in the music industry. Smokey has been credited with more than 4,000 songs and dozens of top 40 hits. Now, if you're like me. Yeah. I'll just add on. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right. So um, uh, you can see that. And what you also have, you'll notice, is this um, just like the DVR, we have a progress line here. And almost all the podcasters. So if I put it on play. You know many of them by heart. I double click on the actual Tears of the Cloud. I bet you could sing it. I, I sick in that emotion. And it yes. really got a hold on me. I could pause well, it and so on, right? But here's the button. If I push that button, it says download it. 30, it's 31 megabytes downloaded. I can put it on my phone, put it on my computer, have it whatever I want. I don't have to be online. Like right now, it's, um, it's streaming across the internet or as it gets here. So I'm a little behind in where it's downloading to, you can see the progress bar there, okay? So, uh, but I can subscribe to Oprah's Masterclass um, and know when there are new episodes, just like on my DVR. So what other kind of things are out there? I mean, this is where I would say, you know, what are you interested in? The most popular ones, I can tell you, are um, This American Life. And these are the same shows that they have on uh, the BBEZ, but you have um, older versions of the show. Okay, so same thing here. You want to pick a, a certain, a given episode, um, you can download it, you can listen to it, you can collect it. You know, you can tell, you can set these podcatchers to say that I want you to download. This is, I want you to download um, the new episodes every time, so I always have them on my phone. This is why you, suddenly you're going to wish you had more storage. Uh, these aren't very big. I mean, like videos. You can see that it's 31 megabytes for an audio file, but um, you, it will get stored to your to your phone. And it's that that memory that you have. Maybe your 16 gigabytes is what gets used up. Um, there's one called the very good one called the BTF. Okay. Now, it means what the F word. And he says it at the beginning, but not much after that. So if you're offended, skip the first two minutes. Okay. Um, Mark Maron, uh, besides being a terrific interviewer, um, I'll show you the episodes and I'll play. Um, he has, uh, he's had, had interviews with all kinds of celebrities. Uh, one of which was, um, he was, he's records this, uh, in his garage in California. In his garage, in the suburbs of California, he set up a studio, microphone. He sits there, he talks for the first 10 minutes, he brings the guests on, now he knows he has guests, whatever. So one guest that he brought on was President Barack Obama. Now he could have gone to the White House to talk to him, 
The president says, no, I'll come to the garage. <laughs> so uh, there's pictures, I should go to the website. Um, uh, they, the Secret Service put an awning up over his, over his driveway, and the president got out of the beast, and he walked into the garage, and he recorded a terrific show. Uh, that show got three million downloads. Um, it's a very good interview, uh, and uh, that pretty much set things on, on uh, you know, you created what well, was like the Anchor podcast. But in any case, that set the whole, that made podcasting um, legit, or explained to everybody what it was. In fact, um, David Axelrod, who was uh, Barack Obama's what, communications director, um, based on being there in the garage, said, I could do this. And there's a podcast called, a very good one for politics, called The X Files. David Alex, all right. So he interviews, he just had one with Elizabeth Warren. Uh, that's actually a video file. Um, uh, he did he did a live show on stage with her, you know, interviewing her. But he's had all these all these politicians uh, and does terrific interviews. Is also very popular. Rahm Emanuel was there. So um, I don't know if he ever had President Obama on there, but uh, he's interviewed people. So I mean, podcasts lead to podcasts, <laughs> right? So uh, basically, everybody's in the aviation podcast business. First of all, heard what we were doing and then started doing it. <clears throat> Nobody knows who I am anymore. So, uh, and so, you, so when you're watching a TV show, uh, like there's, uh, if you're watching um, Chris Hayes on and, um, MSNBC, one called uh, Why Is This Happening? That's his, right? Yeah. So, um, there is uh, his. There's a uh, one, if you watch CBS Morning News, uh, Mo, Mo Obituaries, Mo Rocca oh, yeah. is doing one. He talks about it basically every, uh, every episode, right? So he's, he's talking about, uh, well, obituaries and things that you may not know. Uh, there are, besides just interviews and things, there's also, of course, entertainment, there's also music, um, there's comedy. Uh, I want to, sh to show you the other uh, podcasters. By the way, I mean, I'll show you another way to, to one of my favorites. Um, when I'm on the road, um, I, you know, I have serious radio in, in the car. And you know that even though they get it down to where it costs five bucks a month, um, it actually is too much. <laughs> um, so I listen to TuneIn. Um, in fact, if I want to listen to WDCB, now this is not a podcast; it's streaming. What does that mean? It's live. Um, but uh, radio stations make their current live broadcasts available uh, over the internet, and TuneIn. Uh, We'll, we'll bring those in for you. So if I'm gonna listen to WDCB, and sometimes I can't- Kraft Foods Company you. presents Harold Perry as the Great Killers League. <laughs> <laughs> the Great Killers League is brought to you by the Kraft Foods Company, makers of parquet margarine. Every day, millions of women all over America serve parquet margarine because it tastes so good. You like it, you like it, you get some parquet. Oh, get home and then try it again. You like it, you love it like millions who say that they heard of margarine. P-A-R-K-A-Y, parquet margarine, made by... No, it's going to be on the projector. Oh, well, or you're, it's on the auto pad. Oh, okay, sir. Yeah. So um, I can listen to uh, WDCB, even though we really can't receive it out here in, in, in most of the areas. Uh, you can see this is actually my um, tune-in um, screen. 
And so, uh, because I have unlimited data on my phone, um, I can pretty much get this anywhere I want. So you can see that I have the X files and, and some of the stuff uh, described uh, as podcasts in TuneIn. So, um, Uh, subscribe means that I've told the podcaster, the podcatcher, the application TuneIn, that I'm interested in this. I'm not, I'll shut, let's add one. Um, I'm going to, uh, let's add. Uh, uh, some of these things have commercials. Make it stop. See, there, that, uh, tune in uh, is advertising support, but obviously somebody has to pay for all the what they're doing. Uh, if I want to add, uh, see it says new, your, your new episodes. So if I click on uh, the X files, um, uh, this is a new show from uh, March 11th, right? And now, the University of Chicago Institute. Uh, because I'm subscribed to that. So to, to subscribe to a new show, uh, let's search for one. So you see the, the subscribe button in the corner? And all the podcasters, yeah, you can barely see it up there, but it's where the arrow is. Okay? So if I click on subscribe, that's where it will tell me when there are new episodes. Now, it won't necessarily download all of the old ones. It can tell it to do that. One of the options that you have, probably under settings, is to say download everything. But in any case, um, it won't, you know, it, uh, it generally, you can pick the, which ones you want to have and download those, but it will download new episodes. Uh, Serial, by the way, is one that uh, is pretty famous. It was a um, story of um, a man pleading, or I, I didn't listen to it, but in any case, a, a, a story, a, a murder, uh, but Wisconsin, the saga of the, the man who was convicted of maybe innocent and that kind of thing. Uh, there's another one, um, which has been really, really well regarded, called uh, Bagman. Remember, I haven't been listening to all this stuff. Here we go, Bagman. Okay, this is, um, a project from Rachel Maddow, uh, which is about um, the corruption of um, Spiro Agnew. You know your politics are, but he, you know, he, he actually was more corrupt than anybody even knew. <laughs> he was getting payoffs while he was vice president. So, uh, so it goes into that. I mean, not just subscribe to it; I haven't listened to it, but it was very well received, very well reviewed. Um, so, what's your interest? Name something you like. Knitting. Be, yeah, be easy. You can stream, and they have podcasts. I'm, I'm being uh, uh, Ted, Ted Radio Hour. Ted Ted Talks has a podcast, and it's video and audio. Yeah. Now, how do we get that? All right. Well, if I just type in, type in Ted. Ted Talks Daily. Ted Talks Daily. Ted Talks Business. Ted Talks Daily. Ted Talks Health. Ted Talks Science and Medicine. Okay, See, there's a few podcasts out there. Where? Type it in where. You type it in the search bar in your podcaster. So a pod catcher. Yes. Yeah. So yes. yeah. All right. So may I ask how? So you're saying uh, if I don't get it on my, I just want it on my phone. You got an iPhone? Yeah. All right. Use the podcast application. Where? Well, I, I, I mean, I, I. Yeah. Go to the main screen. Phone. Yeah. You should. And, uh, uh, and it says listen now, or shows you might like. Yeah. Shows you might like. So go to the little search bar. Mm -hmm. uh, type in Ted. It's there already. I mean, it's, it's on. Yeah. All right, so click on it, click on the icon, okay. and you'll see a little subscribe thing in the corner, probably in the upper right-hand side. I don't know what it is in icon. Yeah, but yeah. But now you're not, you're not, you haven't subscribed to that yet, you're, you're listening to it. Click on the icon, and you'll see all the shows, and the subscribe button will be in the corner. And I can show you that because, let me do it on, on here, unfortunately. I'm, I'm putting Ted. All right, you see here, I, t I type Ted into the search bar on top of the podcast application. I, I, sorry, you can't. I can't project this. 
Uh, right, podcast application. The little purple icon. Mike, question. Yeah. When you hit the subscribe button, does that mean you have to pour over dough? No. No, no. No, there's no way to pay for them. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, in some cases, they have premium memberships where the only shows, like uh, WTF, the WTF says if you pay $10 a month to Stitcher, you can have access to the to the previous shows. Because they may only, they only have the current last 60 shows available. Uh -huh. Through Stitcher, you can get all, all they just had the 1,000 show, which is the show, by the way, you get right now, which shows the whole history of what they've done. And, and they're talking about how we got 3 million listeners for the Barack Obama show. So, okay, here, I'm gonna show you as best I can in the iPad. Podcast app, the purple icon. Okay, yeah. so I click on that. Okay, and then in the search bar at the top, I typed in TED. Search. Okay, I got all these icons, TED Talks, TED Talk Daily, whatever, okay? And then I click on, yeah, HD video it says in this one. Video, video, so the, you know, the TED Talks are video. So I click on HD video. See the purple button that says subscribe right there in the middle. Okay, so now I got all the new ones. And here's the previous episodes. So any one of these episodes, I can click on it and download it. Okay. Um, and then I'll talk about what you can do with this. You know what we're doing right now? You know what that is? Uh, I'm casting. Yeah, but uh, uh, well, what, I had a friend who does this in her car. Yeah. She must hook something from her phone to the car. Yeah, Fred. Okay, I got an Android. Yeah. I've got TuneIn app installed. Yeah. I tell go to TuneIn, and I can listen to the shows I want. Yeah. I don't have to. Well, you don't want to. I mean, all I, all I want, almost all I want is streaming. I still listen to what's on now. Yeah. Well, you can you can do you and can stream. My it. car does that. Yeah. Well, here. So I can just do it with my car. Yeah. Well, okay. to listen to the car is a Bluetooth. You make a Bluetooth connection to your right. car, so you get your audio over the car radio, right? Oh, I can. I can. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I mean, you got layers of what we can do here. Remember, what's the content is on my phone, right? Here, this is effectively my phone. What you're seeing right now can be my phone. Okay. And guess what? It's on the TV. How is it on the TV? Through a Chromecast. Okay, this is a three dollar thing. You can plug it into the television. Okay, and with Android, uh, you can say I want to mirror my entire screen, or I want to mirror uh, just from Chrome, the Chrome browser, or whatever else. Okay, then it goes to the screen. Now, what else do I have? Okay, I have Alexa. Play the X Files. I couldn't find any enabled video skills that can play that. Alexa. Use the Alexa app to manage your video skills and devices. Alexa, play the X Files from TuneIn. Sorry, I don't know that. <laughs> Alexa, play WDCB from TuneIn. WDCB Public Radio from TuneIn. Let's give me those one of these again. Mr. Gildersleeve, I've taken care of everything. There you go. You're there. Great Gildersleeve. Yeah, Alexa, there. off. All right, it will do podcasts if you get the right command. All right. Um, Alexa, play the This American Life podcast from TuneIn. Hmm, I couldn't find This American Life on TuneIn. Try asking me to recommend a podcast. Alexa, recommend a podcast. Choosing a top podcast for you. Oh, Here's Snap Judgment from TuneIn. Okay. Snap number 1007, Love Me's Meet Cute, 25 minutes. Alexa, off. So, how can you get it? Like that. You know, you can plug that into your stereo. Um, you can, um, we've got these all over the house. In fact, we have this controls our home audio too and everything. So, you can do that. You can send it to a Chromecast. Okay, you can send it to, you can, um, uh, my uh, AVR audio video receiver has uh, built in tune in 
Yeah, has tune in and has other access to podcasts. So if I, I, I the same account that I have here for tune in saying I'm subscribing to these things, uh, my audio video receiver knows that. Um, in fact, when I bring up tune in on the, the, the receiver, it plays with WDCB streaming because I can't receive it over the air until I hang an antenna outside. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm sort of mixing things up. Remember, there's streaming and there are podcasts. But podcasts are basically the same content where you can get a handle on it. You can, you can download it. You can do what you want with it. So, remember the layers here that we have. Content is out there in the big, wide internet. Okay? We now have a way of saying, give me new content, or give me current content, or give me the content from 15 days ago. Fine. You push the button, say download it, or whatever. You have a way to say, send me something whenever it's new. Give it to me. Get that, okay? Now, once you have that on whatever device, your computer, your phone, whatever, now, I want, I want to play that on my television. I want to play that through my stereo. I want to play that in the bathroom. I can tell the Amazon Echo to collect it for me from TuneIn. I can tell my, my, my audio receiver to get it for me. I can listen to it in the car, okay? Same content whatever I want. So, the, the point here is that there are hundreds of thousands of channels of information out there for all kinds of interests. And uh, you can go crazy with it. So now that your life is over with, as you explore all this stuff, you can thank me. Um, be that I did this for a living, <laughs> you can see I haven't been kept up on what's out there. But uh, there's all kinds of interesting things and you're gonna, see all kinds of interesting content. You can get political content of whatever side you're leaning on, wherever you want to listen to. Um, you can get uh, entertainment inter interviews, celebrity interviews, you know. A lot of the artists uh, have their own feeds, just like they have blogs. They have blogs, they can have audio blogs. That's what this is, basically. Um, you can see the streaming networks here. Uh, Nerdist is one for, uh, for technology and geekery and comic books and that kind of stuff. Um, that's actually a network of podcasts. Um, ESPN for sports, right? Twit is a technical stuff. They have all kinds of uh, different shows. By the way, uh, there is you know PC, PC uh, show. He's got like a dozen different shows. The uh, the Android, all about Android, uh, home theater geeks. Uh, iOS Today, which you've changed it because they didn't have a way of saying iPhone and iPad all in one. Mac Break Weekly, which is about Macintoshes. Uh, Security Now with Steve Gibson. Um, tech News Weekly, which is just general news, all this stuff. So here's all this tech stuff from, from uh, Leo of uh, Tech TV, who, by the way, I have a picture of me and him. I have a picture of me and Adam Curry. <laughs> uh, early on, uh, Adam Curry himself, who is a pilot, said he loves the pilot cast. I had that sound so I So, um, uh, all of this, all of this content from Leo Laporte's Tech TV, uh, this comes out of, he's in Paloma, uh, Petaluma, California. Uh, and uh, he, he made it a full-time job. It, you know, in fact, it was when Leo mentioned podcasting and I thought it was kind of strange, uh, I got into it about the same time that he did. So I just said, hey, for once I'll jump on something. So uh, you can see all the shows that have Ham Nation, Home Theater Geeks, um, and so on. Know How, uh, he had one, there's one on, on, on law, tech law, I don't know if those shows are still around. Leo the Tech, the tech guy is uh, the show that Leo Laporte does on radio where he answers questions. So everybody calls up and says, I got a virus, what do I do? And he says the same thing over and over and over again. <clears throat> so you can see, um, his education podcast, Tony Robbins, yeah. Um, uh, who's Jordan Peterson? So anyway, there's the TED, the TED section. Um, yeah. Two questions. Uh, number one, you mentioned that if you subscribe to a channel or a podcast, uh, they'll automatically download or notify you of a new broadcast. Yeah. How, is, how are you, how does, what's that notification process? Uh, it's up to your pod, no, what happens is that your pod catcher, whatever device you're using to catch the content, periodically looks at their website, 
gets to look at the RSS feed and sees that, oh yeah, there's a new file, a new line in here with a new date stamp on it, right? Now, you can tell it, you have an option, your podcaster. When something new comes up, download it to me. Or you're, you, you, you bring up your podcaster like, like TuneIn, and you look at your favorite show, and you'll see an icon saying, you know, the last three shows are new, you haven't heard those yet. And then you click on the play button and listen to them, whatever you want to do. So you have, you know, you, you control that with your settings, um, whether you download it or not. But it, the point of the, the RSS feed, the syndication part of this is that um, your pod catcher, your client, keeps track of where you were and what you've heard, right? So it will tell you the last three shows are new since the last time you were on. And, and then you have the option if I want to listen to them or not download them or whatever else. But because it internally in its database looks at all those RSS feeds and remembers what you did with them and where you were last time, your client knows what you've heard and what you haven't heard and can tell you there's something new out there or whatever. So, um, but you can set it up. I mean, the, the way to do it, the ideal way to do it is that if you have your three or four favorite shows, you know, on Monday morning, you get in the car with your phone, you put the phone on, uh, hook the phone up to your car, and it says, here's, a new, here's your new This American Life, and here's your new TED Talk, or whatever else, and you've got hours of entertainment during your drive, and it's automatic. You, you know, your, your three favorite shows are there. Um, by the way, uh, the Echo will do a, a version of that, too, here. Uh, you know, I don't want to confuse things. It's not podcasting. Well, it is podcasting, sort of streaming. But, uh, Alexa, what is today's news? Here's your flash briefing. In weather, in Grays Lake, there's a flood warning in effect until Wednesday, March 20th, 4 a.m. The current weather is 38 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today's forecast has mostly sunny weather, with a high of 42 degrees and a low of 23 degrees. From Reuters TV. From Reuters TV. Alexa, off. So you can I set this up. You, you use the um, the Alexa app on your phone or on your computer, and you say you know things I'm interested in in what sequence. So this this plays me the weather first. Hey, and it goes, stories. Alexa, off. Uh, it plays Reuters TV. Uh, CBS2 uh, has local news. Uh, the New York Times uh, has uh, a briefing, and they had a show called The Daily, which they put off to the side because The Daily was basically a half hour of content of interviews or whatever else. Very good stuff, but it was too long. So they made The Daily a uh, separate feed. So I can subscribe to The Daily, but The New York Times feed is basically five minutes of news. Um, but that, you know, you'll see in your Alexa app. Um, Stop saying your name. Off. <laughs> so um, in your Alexa app, um, okay. stop saying that. Echo app. Um, uh, it will. Um, you can you can choose what you want to hear. And so I can do that every morning. You know. So um, that's streaming, and it's the same streaming. By the way, you could you, I could stream that on through TuneIn. Exactly the same content. It's Amazon just going out and getting that for you in a different way, right? I mean, it's out there on the web. It's out there in the, in the big big bad cloud, and you can get it. There's all kinds of ways to, to use it. Remember, I could get it on my television. I can get it, you know, here or whatever. So just understand the layers of it. The content's out there in the big old world, and you have a way of saying, let me get into that content. Just like your television, you say what channel I'm interested in and what shows I want to subscribe to with my DVR, right? And, you know, you, you've got 500 channels, of which you're interested in maybe 60 of them, right? And then, and then of that, there's... Maybe, you know, my DVR, we have 100 shows. <laughs> but in any case, um, you know, my DVR, I say there's 100, you know, I, I, there's 100 shows I want you to record for me, and they come in. And sometimes they're in season, and sometimes they're not. They're surprised, you know, Game of Thrones is going to start in April. I'm going to have a new Game of Thrones when it comes up, right? So it's the same sort of thing. Out in that big old world of the, of the cable, I get what I want when I want it. The same thing here. Uh, and you can go back, you know, uh, if you wanted to get that, uh, Barack Obama interview from WTF, um, right now it probably fell off, so now you have to go through Stitcher and pay for it, but it's there. Um, you probably can f find it elsewhere. But uh, 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 it's there, it's about an hour long interview and it's really interesting. Um, so there's 
more hours of content out here than any human being could listen to. <laughs> it would be too much for you if you were stranded on a desert island. It's not possible to keep up with it. But, you know, any kind of interest that you have is there. Let's see if they have music. Yeah. Brooks and Dunn, here you go, some country stuff. So, this is a show called uh, Bobby Cast, comedy, okay? Bobby Bones does from his house, wherever Bobby Bones is. Um, anyway, any other questions, any other interests we could look up for you? <laughs> yeah? What equipment do you need to make a podcast? To make a podcast? Make a podcast. Yeah. Um, good question. Um, it actually is, um, if, you, if you get a Mac, um, it's set up in the GarageBand application. It's just like point and play. You can uh, record your podcast and do everything up to publishing it. Uh, it used to be limited to, um, I think, an hour of content. Okay, but here's what you here's what you got to do. This is what I had to do, and it was a lot harder, a little bit harder than I did. Um, you record your audio. You know, get a decent microphone. It's good. You can just get a, a headset with a microphone. Reasonable quality. There are headsets that are just have a USB interface. You just plug into your computer. Yeah. Our hub is set up for this. Your hub? The yeah, you can record them here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can record them in the library. So you can. But you anyway. You you, you record your audio. Now what we did in the pilot cast, by the way, is this is way back in 2005, um, and this is commonly how things are done when you have remote. There were three or four of us all over the country doing the show. Dan is in Connecticut. Kent was in Wisconsin, I was in Chicago, okay? And we'd have a guest from someplace else. And what we did was we used something called Skype. Um, so we would you know, do a, a, a conference on Skype. You can, you can do uh, an application on a Macintosh called Audio Hijack. We'll, uh, we'll shoot, put itself into the audio feed so that you record everything that, that your, your computer hears. So with Skype, we fired up. We do a uh, Skype conference with the four of us. We talk, 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 talk. Make one big audio file. And in fact, what we did was um, we each individually recorded our own content. So though we were conferencing, I was only recording me, and Dan was only recording Dan, and Kent was only recording Dan, Kent. And then what we do at the end of that is we would they would all we would FTP them to me, and we would mix them together, and uh, so that we had better audio that way. But um, do that sometimes, you know. I had, so then I brought up and I used the audio uh, application called uh, Audacity uh, because professional audio applications are pretty expensive. But Audacity is a lot better now than it was in those days. So you can bring up the tracks. But in any case, you record your content. You don't need to have four streams. You don't need to have four people. You just have you talking, right? So you talk. Uh, you create your content. Then you have to syndicate it, publish it someplace. Um, you can do that, I mean, there, there may be places that will do it for you, like sort of all in one. Now, I mean, like right in that Apple, iTunes Apple page, there's a link that says, do you want to be a podcaster? Their advice is probably there. They probably have a way to, to host it for you or whatever. Uh, there's a company called Libsyn, L-I-B-S-Y-N, Liberated Syndication. Um, and they um, will uh, host uh, podcasts for uh, like $10 a month. It was, I don't know what it is these days, but in any case, they put your content up into Amazon storage, which is cheap. Um, so they will host your RSS file and your content. Um, and then uh, now you have that RSS feed, which points to them. And uh, so you take that RSS file, put it on your website, right? It's going to be, what's your name? What's your name? Your name? Bobby. 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 Okay. So Bobby Cast. That's what you said. Yeah. Yeah. I said Bobby Cast. No. Yeah. No. But 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 anyway. Yeah. No, that was that one was uh, that was somebody else's Bobby Cast. That's some guy from Nashville. No, I thought you called me Bobby. Yeah. No. 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 So you can't have Bobby Cast as a name. Say Bobby Cast of Lake County. You can have that for a name. So. Uh, yeah. No. The Bobby Cast uh, is right there on the screen. If somebody has that. Uh, anyway. Uh, so we create your Bobbycast on a website 
you put your RSS feed up there. Yeah. Uh, what's what's up? Your battery's low. Okay. Uh, you put your RSS feed up there, and then you want you I mean you want to create a web page, which you can do through you know somebody will help you create the page. You know you can use Squarespace or you name it, right? Uh, create a page. And probably you go to Squarespace and those kinds of sites, and I'll say, what do you want to create? A, a podcast site? And you say, yeah. Thanks for asking. And you put a few pictures up there, and you fill in your content, and uh, they may host it. They may, in any case, you put your feed, your link to your feed from the web page, and you're done. Now that you try to tell Apple, you know, those guys, hey, I'm out here, so they will point Apple iTunes to you, right? But in any case, um, you know, that's another uh, operation. Whether Apple will, you know, has a way to submit it or whatever else, you, just, you know, you just. They, have, they probably have a page where you submit it, where, where, what, what's the name of your podcast, and where's the feed, and where's your website, and so on, and is it explicit or not, and that kind of thing. And then from that point, iTunes can find it. And you know, you get your first handful of subscribers, and then you get three million subscribers, and you start selling advertising, and you become independently wealthy. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's the problem. One of the reasons why uh, I stopped doing it, first of all, I was editing it like crazy, thinking about every uh and ah uh and whatever else, which takes hours. And then besides which, there is no revenue stream. <coughs> so, but we were very popular, very good. We went out on top. And I might bring it back. We'll bring Fred in there. We can do a late blooming aviators, Fred. <laughs> so, I told uh, all my plane magazines. Yeah. I want to do one for, for aircraft owners and for late blooming aviators. So there's two two aspects applying that they're a little more specific. So we do that. So I don't know anything I didn't uh, any other aspects of that I didn't touch on. You know, for um, to do a, like a podcast. Let's say you're going to do it in your garage. Okay. Um, for the um, for like the, the camera, the sound equipment. Yeah. Um, all that uh, plus. Uh, uh, yeah, if you're going to do of, video, what, I mean, what sort of uh, investment are we talking about? Yeah, for audio, 50 bucks plus your computer, right? I mean, for you can get you can get the USB headset, 30 bucks. Um, for video, um, you can do it on a phone. People do it on phones. Um, you know, you get a good phone like the the Nexus, uh, the Pixel XL, um, uh, with a good camera on it, and just like JJ set it up. You got the stereo over here. You put it on a, on a mount, and you can record yourself that way. There's no resolution. You can't do that. And then you can see yourself, you know, live, which is what JJ is doing right now. So you you can do it with a phone. You know, I, I mean, I looked at it recently that to, to buy a a cam quarter these days, it's, it's a joke. They're like two hundred dollars, and they're they're probably actually not as good as what's on a phone. So, but you can. Yeah, the library has a setup, right? You can you can do it here. You can make videos. Um, so this it's the same problem though. Now if you're gonna if you're going to um, syndicate your video content, you need more storage. See, I mean, the last time I looked at it, when you go to one of these shared uh, uh, website providers, these virtual website providers, they actually used to prohibit you from having media files. They weren't gonna give you that much space. Lip, liberated Lipsyn does not do that. You know that, uh, you know, for whatever your ten dollars a month is, how much space you can have, and if you were if you were going to have HD video files and lots of them, you just buy more, pay them more money for more space. But um, uh, I mean, that's the biggest problem is that your show is going to take up, if it's video, it's going to take up many gigabytes. HD video is now about two gigabytes an hour, or a little bit less than that. It used to be like five or six. So you got to pay for that much storage, and I mean, if you, if that's one reason why video works now is because now it's been compressed. But you, your subscribers have to download that, right? So you got to download a gigabyte, and I don't care how fast your internet is; it's going to take five, ten minutes, you know, whatever. It's big, so um, you got to consider that. You make the show short, you know. And by the way, if you're going to do that, put it on YouTube, which is a no-brainer. They don't, you know, and then you can make money off of it. So you can, you know, let's go to uh, people. There's a whole other subscribe there. Let's go to, um, uh, 
Okay, so you, you know, if you can be a YouTube, see my subscriptions on YouTube? Um, people are, you know, these providers on YouTube, um, they are creating content. That's where you put your video content. You become a YouTube, a YouTube uh, producer, right? If you, if you create this kind of content, um, you'll see that uh, you have an option. Uh, you can see that I'm subscribed to, to Twitch feed in, uh, on YouTube. Okay? So there's another place, by the way, you can get audio. This way, audio and video. Okay? Yeah. Um, so you put it on YouTube, and uh, if you get enough subscribers, uh, you, you get revenue from the advertising. Uh, if I go to uh, here, this is um, Julian Neal, right? One guy singing all four parts. Okay. You haven't seen this before? No. Okay. It's a little laggy. I want to show you something though um, else while it's playing here. See when I over, when I when I mouse over the actual video content, see that icon right there? That is saying to cast this to my television. So I can go directly. What I am already casting, right? But I could cast just from YouTube. You can cast from YouTube. So if it goes to the Chromecast, go to my television. But, see the button here that says subscribe? So I'm subscribed to this, which is why it, it popped up saying he's got new stuff out there. Okay? And he gets money uh, on the views, and if he enables uh, advertising on it. Uh, you, you get a few bucks from that, and actually, people are making good livings at that. You know, making YouTube content. So, you know, just make something. Uh, with my favorite Hackintosh lady. This is the moment a lot of you have been waiting from for Russia. Um, so, you know, I mean, if you're going to make video content, you want to make a, you know, a video contest, consider a video podcast, consider just becoming a YouTube uh, uh, influencer, uh, content maker. And if you get enough views, you, know, you can see that she got 2,000, which is smoked potatoes these days. But um, you enable uh, advertising um, and you get a few bucks from each one. But, so, what I recommend, uh, buy a Chromecast if you're in the Android world especially, and if you use Chrome, the Chrome browser, these are as low as $19. Um, this is a Chromecast Ultra, but Pixel X3 is 200 bucks off. Chromecast is regular Chromecast. This is the Chromecast Ultra, which is a 4K version. Okay, add post to Chromecast and Google Media get 10 bucks off. Okay, tell me what it costs. Oh, 35 dollars. Free shipping. So for regular Chromecast, and you just 
you plug that into the HDMI port and back your television and supply power over USB, you can either plug it in, or if your TV has a USB port, you can get power from the TV in some cases. Um, and uh, and you, you run the Google Home app um, on your uh, phone or on a computer and configure, just tell it uh, how to get on your network, and from that point it's wireless, it's Wi-Fi. So, uh, it's very nice. We're gonna put one of these in the, uh, in the motorhome. Uh, what I have in mind for the motorhome, by the way, which I know I, in a moment of insanity, hi dear, um, I, bought an, I bought a 1991 motorhome, and um, uh, biggest 1991, it's got a seven inch television that comes out of the ceiling. And of course, it's an analog television. So, uh, hey, Fred, that's the Northbrook VOR. <laughs> I found it. In Vernon Hills. <laughs> yeah. That's a nav aid that's in Vernon Hills. Or, yeah, it's, it's called the Northbrook VOR. It's pretty big, the, isn't it? Over by the school, high school. High school. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But you know, it's, it's bigger than most of them. I didn't, I'm amazed how big the thing is, you know, so. Uh, What's it do? Uh, it sends out a broadcast signal um, that uh, aircraft can tune in on and it tells you where you are in relationship to it. So you, it, uh, consider it sends out 360 little beams and you can tune in what beam you want to be on and it tells you which way it is. So you can, you, you head to the VOR, like the approach to our airport is, um, yeah, by the way, this is um, a certain person getting, now, now I'll show you, you know, make sure all my, there you go. Show, show everybody. <laughs> so, uh, oh, stop casting, see that? Silly machine. We thought we were seeing something else. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, No. Yeah, we're, we're off off the uh, on a tangent. So, yeah, we talked long enough, Phil. Yeah. We're done. Yes, we're done. Thank you very much. Okay. And by the way, just a thought on the, on the 